Hi everyone, hope you're doing well, having a great day. I can't believe that it's the end of May already and time to make another one of these completed pages videos, but I have a lot of them as you can tell, so let's get started. The first thing I wanna show you though isn't actually a coloring page, but I'm counting it as a completed pages thing because I've never done this before and um, I liked it way more than I thought I would. I never thought I would have a coloring journal because I document all of my completed pages on Instagram right when they're finished, so I never saw the need for this. But after I made my first completed pages video last month, I discovered I had forgotten what I had colored, um, what medians I had used. I knew which pages I had finished because they were on Instagram, but I forgot some of the, the medium, so I decided to, to try this out. So I have one um, page where I list the finished page, the um, book that it's in, and the illustrator, and then what mediums I use. So I'll be able to use that coming up in this video uh, to re remind myself. And then the other thing I did was list all of the color along options that I could find at the beginning of the month, thanks to um, Passionista Colorista and Nerma Coloring. I think those are the two ladies that I know of that post like um, all the coming up ones. And um, so I made a list of all the ones that were options for me, either because I had the book or I liked the theme or I thought I could accomplish it with no expectations of finishing any certain number of them. Even one would be nice, but um, I was actually able to complete them all. And it was really nice, just uh, fulfilling to be able to check them off the list. And um, I did 14 color alongs, even though I didn't finish 14 pages, like it was there were so many for... Um, mermaid that one picture covered one two three four five of them so that was kind of fun to uh, you know this one color covered two different prompts um so that was kind of fun to keep track of that and the other thing that was helpful uh, a couple of times when i needed inspiration for what to color next i could look at this list and say oh i want something quick and easy oh matchstick mouse is very a uh, good one for that or the very last one when there was just one left was this vehicles in may so it's like i'm going to find a page with vehicles in it and then i will have everything checked off so um, and the other uh, thing that helps that made this come in handy was I never also never thought I'd be the kind of person to forget to post a picture because I normally post them right after I do them within a day or two, depending on if I have to wait to for sunny weather to um, take a photo. But when I was looking through this list just now getting ready for this video, I saw one on here that's like, I don't think I took a picture or posted that. And sure enough. Um, I didn't. So now after this video, I will be taking a picture of that and getting it ready to post. So uh, yeah, I will definitely uh, continue to do that again. But those are, I'm counting those as, how about two finished pages? Because there's two in there. <laughs> so the first um, uh, book that I have finished pages in is my, my Marisa Dirt Europa. And you might know, you might remember, um, I set a challenge to myself to only use a limited palette of 24 pencils, so I'm continuing with that. So they're all polychromos in this book, except for the, the lightest tan is a Crayola because polychromos didn't have the light tan that I wanted. So, um, so for all of this book, it's just those 24 polychromos. So this was the first one, kind of a mixture of all the places that she... I was drawing about drawing in this book, so that was fun. <laughs> and I took a trip to Italy to have some yummy gelato. So it's kind of a challenge sometimes with those 24 pencils to get, a, you know, the right mix of, of shades and things. But I like the way this one turned out. And oh, and finding the color for pistachio was interesting with the greens that I had. So, but I think I did it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that one was fun as well. And then the last one on this page was a real simple little squares. I normally color these um, when I'm at Starbucks uh, because the, you know, the other goal for this book is the um, having people color in it in public places. So I will link the video where I explain more because I'm a little over halfway done and I made a video for the halfway point and explained that um, having strangers color in my book, it's an international project now. So um, that was a lot of fun. The last, the next book is this coloring book. That's the title by Nina St Stainer, Steiner. I don't know how to say her name. I'm so sorry. But again, this is a very simple palette I have set for this book. So um, just the, lots of sweet, cute little animals. And it's a, there's a little poetry 
bunny and mouse on a sunny mid-noon flying through clouds in a hot air balloon so every page has um little poetry like that and i just love this book it's so easy i can usually color this in one evening while i'm watching tv with my husband so um that's fun but yeah i have each each little animal has its own color scheme so that by the end um see i'm not sure what happened that grass is a little brighter obviously than that grass so i don't know what i did wrong there but um yeah it's just been it's very sweet uh and I'm looking forward to coloring my next. So it's very uh, fun to just have when I just need something mindless and easy. And this is another one. Another one like that. An easy one is Matchstick Mouse. And this is the page I finished in there with Prisma Colors. Oh, I forgot to tell you in the Nina Stocks, in the coloring book that we just looked at. Um, it is, those were also done in Prisma Color. Um, so yeah, this was another one that she, this shoes looked like she was, she is matchstick mouse a girl. I think it is. Uh, she looked like she was ready to go on an adventure and I was ready to go on an adventure. So that worked for me. And I halfway through realized that I think this whole thing was supposed to be the stone wall, but I don't know why I didn't catch it. And I started coloring it green. So I just added, <laughs> added a little shrubbery. Uh, on my own yeah so I think it works fine but that's always a fun cute little page to color then the next one is fairy touch of magic by Clara Markova I just love all of her books um, I don't haven't heard if she's coming out with a new one but this is the one I colored for mermaid um, for all of those lovely color alongs and it's always hard to catch but I tried to make their headpieces, their jewelry, and that little bowl of uh, pearls, and these little, the little round bubbles. Tried to make them a little sparkly with some watercolor that I have. So I think you can see it just a little bit. It's not the, it's always hard to catch. But then I added a little color over some of them because the color is just like white. Colored some color to try to tint it. I think I can see it. I think you can see it a little bit, but. So yes, I loved the way the, sh the scales turned out. And um, yeah, that was just very fun. I tried a new color combination with her red hair. I'm not sure I love it. Oh, but I just remember, see, I didn't look at my book. I just remember the thing that I tried in here was the, um, I tried uh, an, um, a Neo Color 2, just a really light wash over the whole thing before I colored anything. Um, I just colored real lightly in this kind of direction, like over the whole thing, because I wanted to see if it would kind of land an underwater blue tinge with some you know, like watermarks and things. Um, I think next time I will try doing that at the end before doing any sparkles if I have. Um, I think it's okay. I think it does lend a little bit of a blue tinge to everything and like sometimes in there, the lighter colors in the skin. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but you can see the watermarks in those lighter areas, but it made it hard to color on because it was, it was messing with my mind and I couldn't figure out what colors and I to pick. So, um, but you can especially see it back here because once I, um, started coloring all of this, I realized you can't really see, um, any of the water marks. I think it probably helps it lend a little blue tinge, but I just liked the way that it looks like because it was at this angle, it kind of looks like the the light coming through the water in rays like this. It's very subtle. Um, but I liked it and I knew it would get lost if I colored it. So I just left the whole background uncolored with pencil. So, um, I, it looks good to my eye. I might look oh, a hair unfinished on the camera, but that doesn't matter. I'm here to please me and not um, the camera. So, but next time I might try just coloring it and then doing the blue wash over it. We'll see if I can bear to do that. I'm not sure, but we might try it. But that was a lot of fun. I like the happy dolphins. <laughs> okay. Then the next one is in Worlds of Wonder by Johanna Basford. And this one. I kind of returned to one of my standard color schemes for her books a lot of times is the pinks and the blues and the, the light greens. I tried a different way to color the background, which I don't love. Um, I'm trying to get better at like the, just the splotchy kind of modeled look and I don't love it. I mean, it's fine. 
you know, I tried to tried a few different things, but overall, when I stand back and look, it's I like I like the colors, I like the flowers, um, but I will probably try a different way to do the background before it just. I think I tried to make it a little bit darker over here at some point and forgot to erase it before today, and we'll see if I ever get back. Because I, I didn't like the way that looked, so I didn't do it anywhere else. And um, But overall, I like it. It was a fun, happy, um, relaxing page to color. <laughs> and those were... Um, where's my... Those were Castle Arts pencils, so that might have been a little bit uh, one more reason why they didn't necessarily blend as nicely together. It's harder to do that for me with Castle, but um, oh, I just realized again I forgot the Mermaid page was a mixture of, like I said, that background was the Neo Color twos, and then the pencils I used were Polychromos, Castle, and Black Widows. Just a lot of just different ones, depending on where I wanted different certain colors. Um, so the next one is The Ink House uh, by Rory Dobner, and I just love this book. It's beautiful, and as a precursor to the page I colored today, the the theme I have for this book um, is just very, and um, this isn't the page I colored this month, but very muted, like vintage, antique-y um, books that have just very faded colors and because this book already has in it... Um, just this lovely accent it's mostly in black and white but almost every page like this page doesn't it's black and white but almost every page has something in this lovely dusty blue color of various shades like here's a darker one with lighter um so I didn't want to compete with that because I love that color so much so anything I color will be will be faded and try not to compete with that so that at the end it's still very feels very elegant to me so I don't want to compete uh, with that so all that being said is the page I did this month is this um, page with the chimneys and I did that because uh, I needed a page with butterflies that didn't take very long <laughs> and um, so I do every I'm doing the goal is to do every page in this book with my Tombow Erosia tin pencils because they have just a lovely palette of muted colors uh, I could just picture some of them, like for the animals, the fo that fox you saw on that last page. Just a lot of really yummy muted colors, and they work really, they don't put down a lot of pigment. Some of them, a lot of them, unless you press really hard. Uh, the trick, though, I realized was trying to do this sky background in <laughs> erosion tins, because if you don't know them, they're very hard. Um... So that was a trick. I mean, it's not as smooth as it possibly could be, but I'm not going to put any kind of blender or anything on it because I do not want to warp these pages at all. It's just a fun, quirky book, and I love it so much that I'm trying to tread very lightly <laughs> in this book. Uh, but I'm excited to do more pages in them. I've seen lots of beautiful ones. but So yeah, so that was the one for today, um, or for this month. Okay, the next one is in Find Color by Googly. And I think next month I'm going to put my list, I'm going to put my books in the order I finished them because it takes me too long to find them on my list. <laughs> so this is the page I did for it, and it was another experiment. I'm trying to experiment with watercolors and, and watercolor pencils and well, water soluble mediums that Neo Color 2 in the last one, or in the earlier one isn't a pencil obviously but um so I did the background in some watercolor pencils that I had on hand um they were Fa Faber Castell aqua pencils um I got them a gold Faber aqua I guess is what they're called I got them to experiment with and I remember that I had them um so I'm it's only the first time I've first or second maybe time I've used them so I definitely have a lot to learn um but I think I want to experiment more with watercolor pencils or um, ink tents. Uh, so I'm just trying to practice, but uh, this book screams for watercolors to me. So that's why I want to get better at it so I can use more. <laughs> um, but yes, I just love this book. It's just so beautiful and different than anything I have. It's, it's very textured, so it's hard for me to color on. That's why I think watercolors will work well. I just need to get better and not have it not be so splotchy. Um, 
but yeah, I was, I love the colors. I tried an experiment that I don't love with, I, I was trying to shade this purple down into the lighter blue. And for some reason that just tur turned out looking like dark blue spots, even though it's a lighter blue, blue color, but overall I love this book. I love these colors. Um, and yeah, so that was, um, that was one that I really liked. Okay, the next one was another experiment that, mm, I'm not sure. I bought this book last summer on my trip to France. So this is one of my souvenirs. Um, this was shrink-wrapped, and it was a color by number, like a, a mystery uh, book. And I hadn't didn't have any of these before, so um, I was really interested to try. But what I discovered when I flipped through them is... Um, a lot of times, not not necessarily all of them, but some of the pictures um, were very easy to tell what they were. Like, that's a wolf. Uh, and that's going to be, I think, some birds. Um, because of the way they're drawn. See, that's another bird. And that's like a, a monkey or something. So I was hoping that I wouldn't be able to tell what the thing was when I looked at it, oh, this is a fish. So now I can see it, their eyes, mouth, and the tail. So what I tried to, to, tried to do, my experiment with this book was to just randomly thumb through but not look and slip a piece of paper in there to cover up this part and then raise it up just to get the, the colors, you know, to set the colors that I was gonna use. And then start at the bottom, I would move the paper up and just color a little bit at a time because obviously I can't tell what those are and do that so that was my experiment but what i discovered is when i'm coloring like that you don't necessarily know where the border is and so you you color directionally to get to the border and then like the next square oh that's the same color so now i have it i tend to at least color darker at the border not on purpose but that's just the way it is and the way that the pencil lines go so what happened which i don't love is starting at the bottom um, you just, there's all kinds of directional lines and things, and I don't know, by the time, you know, I, I'm not one to quit anything, <laughs> so I was like, I'm not quitting, but by the time I got to here and realized, well, I was probably about here when I realized it was a peacock, like, okay, well, now this, the surprise is gone, but I continued to do that just so it would be the same, and by the time I got to here, it's like, I, I, I don't love this, but I'm not going to quit. And I, about here, I thought, well, when I get done, I'll go back and go over it again and blend it and try to get rid of all those directional lines and kind of make it more a finished page. But then by the time I got here, this is, tends to happen a lot with coloring pages. Like, I just want to be done. And then I never want to see this again. Does that ever happen to you guys? Please tell me that happens to you guys. <laughs> Put that down in the comments. Do you ever just, I have to finish. I can't just abandon a whip in mid, in mid page. I can't remember if I've ever, I don't think I've ever done that unless it was for like a contest. Rita Berman has done some contests where I just didn't get it done in time. And I knew that page was going to be in her book that she was promoting anyway. So I do have a couple of those that I just threw away because I ran out of time, but I will finish those pages in the book. But I just, by the time I got up here, I was like, this is just going to be what it is, and it's going to be done. It's not beautiful, uh, but it was a fun experiment. I'm not sure I'd do it again. Probably, like, if I color in this book again, probably what I would do is, like, this one's a zebra. I know it's a zebra. If I'm in the mood to color a zebra, and this is the only book I have that has a zebra in it, I would just color it. I mean, I'll still do the color by number thing, but now that you can see all the segments together, like these are all five. So whatever color it is, I will color that all together. So I don't have all these random weird lines going everywhere. That makes no sense. But by up here, by the top, I was speed coloring. <laughs> So, uh, but the one benefit I did discover it because I used, um, Prisma colors, I believe, right? Yeah. 
yes, Prismacolor, sorry. Uh, again, next year, next month we'll go in order. I used a metallic, and I think that's the metallic bronze, and it doesn't look metallic, but it's the perfect light brown color uh, for things that I struggled to find, I think, in Prismacolor. So that metallic bronze is definitely going in my regular rotation now of regular colors. I tend not to look at the metallics or the neons too much, but maybe they all deserve a second look to see where they could fit. So that was the benefit of this. <laughs> okay. And the last page is not technically done, but as I'm filming this on May 29th, I have technically two more days to finish the month. And so it will be done probably today. So I'm going to count it is the the third section of this 17 foot long um, book i'm doing it not in panels like it's folded like a smart person would I, I decided to do it as a square so it would be easier to post on instagram well it's harder to photograph but so the last page um ended about here ish i don't know exactly off the top of my head but this page ends about here ish so um that bear is considered done so the only thing i have to finish is this and this and the footprints, and then that segment. Oh, and the little ghosty things. Um, then that segment. Oh, and the nest, see? Okay, well, I'm still going to finish it today because it's 98% done, I would say. So, uh, yeah, this is just a lot of fun. It's been a mixture of Black Widows and Castles pencils, um, I believe. Uh, in this segment, I've used different, different pencils. Like, you know, this is... Mm, luminance and my goal is to use all the brands of pencils that I have all eight of them um, just to see how it works on this paper but so yeah this is the segment for this month you know you got to have a pink wolf and whatever this is I'm assuming that's a critter I don't know but it's purplish pink um, yeah so this page is just wonderful I love it so much and um, the next segment should be fun too I think the next segment we're getting into is Mexico We've got some Incas and Aztec, uh, Incas or Aztecs, Mayas. I don't know if there's some pyramids coming up. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that is the last page that I have colored for this month. The other thing I'm going to share, though, it's, it's, it's in its finished stage for what it is, but the page itself isn't finished. And let me explain. Um, when I saw that mushroom page in the rooms of wonder that you all know that all the, all the teeny tiny little mushrooms, I thought, Oh gosh, that's going to be a bear, um, to color. But I decided to try something different with it when, uh, I, I think I can't remember when I got this book. I don't know if it was shortly after, I don't know. At some point I, I don't remember when I started this book, but um, at the end of October of last year of 2022, I decided that I was going to keep this by my table where I color. And every day that I color, which is pretty much every day, I'm going to color one mushroom in some of the colors that I used that day. And then I would mark down the date. So it's kind of another little coloring journal kind of thing. So um, I did over the holidays, Christmas, I think, at some point, maybe it wasn't Christmas. At some point, I had to clean up my living room because that's where I color. And I put this away and then I kind of forgot about it. So I am missing like a, a chunk in there of almost like almost a month's worth. So if I would have not forgotten, I would have been because I color in rows and then I'll come down this way. So I probably would have been like all of this probably would have been done by now. But my goal is I think this will be done by the end of the year if I don't miss anymore and then this one isn't done because it's flesh color it was february 12th i know what book it's from and i just keep meaning to go back and doing it but that will be fun to be able to show the progress uh so i'm considering this complete to this point because that's where i am and next month hopefully i'll be down here and every month after that i'll show you and then hopefully by the end of the year we'll be all the way down here so we will see if that comes true so I'm um, looking forward to next month uh, and doing another page like this and we'll see how much I get done. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for joining me and I will see you soon. Bye.